Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Bottle washer? Man, I'm the best turned flapjack twister this side of Willapahatchee. I don't think I've seen you fellas around these parts, have I? We're new to this territory, miss. Yeah, Hank just come in to see the... to see the sights. Some of them made bad. How's the gold business, Scotty? Yeah, it's a whole lot different now, Dale. That's so? <laughs> oh, yes. Now look, have a look at that. Mmm, this one feels like it should be worth about, uh, five dollars change. Is that about what you figured, Scotty? Well, let's call it four and a half. Thought you, Dale. But this time, I really struck it rich. I found me a pocket of gold on my claim, and I got enough gold out of there to keep me the rest of my life. That's fine, Scotty. Glad to hear it. Oh, I'm gonna live like a real royal king. Tomorrow morning, I'm going down to the railhead, buy myself a ticket on the train. Oh, I tell you, it's gonna be fine, Dale. Might be fine. It sounds fine, Scotty. Well, what are you gonna do about Jewel? Jewel? <laughs> Why, I found a place for Jewel where she won't have to work at all. All that Jewel has to do is to stand there and eat sweet, juicy green grass all day. I'd never forget you, no sir. Well, so long, Bill. Bye, Scotty. I would never forget you, little Jewel. <coughs> Poor old Scotty. He thinks everything that glitters is gold. Usually nothing but feldspar. Don't bother. It isn't worth anything. Well, he's quite a character. <laughs> yeah. He has a claim somewhere out in the mountains just across the desert. He comes in every now and then to get supplies. Well, maybe he will strike it rich sometime. <laughs> Put out a mighty good meal, miss. Thank you. Come in again. You know, we got a lot to look forward to, my lady. Oh, it's going to be fine, honey. Just fine, I'll tell you that. I wonder if them fellas is following this duel. We better find out. Now you stay here, old girl. I don't want you getting hurt just when you're starting to enjoy living. Josh, you don't hit him, though. We want him able to talk. Nice going, Scotty. 
Well, you didn't do so bad yourself, Roy. And me and Jewel is mighty grateful to you. You're not very choosy about the kind of company you keep. What's the story? Well, you see, Jewel and me was riding oh, along and... a little fun of the old coot. It's a pretty rough kind of fun. I think we'd better go back to town and have a talk with the sheriff. Well, that'll be doing us a favor, mister. You coming along, Scotty? No, uh, Roy, I don't think of better. You see, I struck it rich. And tomorrow, I'm going to start living like a real royal king. Me and Jewel. I understand, Scotty. Well, we'll see you later. Well, thank you. Come on. Howdy, Rogers. Hi, Randall. How are you, Hank? Ran into a big shot. Seen my brother today? No, the sheriff's over at Squaw Creek picking up a prisoner. Here's three more prisoners he can add to his collection when he gets back. These boys? What's the charge? Shooting up old Scotty. <sighs> they hit him? No, I guess their aim was bad. But locking somebody up for a little horseplay, especially with the sheriff's brother. You go ahead and lock him up. I'll be over to sign the complaint later. Pat, here's the last of your wages for a whole month. Now, if I were you, I'd get rid of that old junk heap. Cost you more than a sweetheart would. Diamond rings, piston rings. What's the difference as long as I have fun? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us, Roy. Go on with what you were saying. That's about all, Dale. I just don't like to see anybody pick on Scotty and get away with it. And neither do I. Old Scotty never hurt anybody. Hey, where'd this come from? Well, Scotty paid for his breakfast with it. Just another one of his felspar nuggets. This isn't felspar. This is real gold. Gold? Hey, you don't suppose Scotty made a strike? Did anybody see him give you that? Well, I suppose so. There are several people in here. Any strangers, I mean. Yeah, there were three men. I remember because I dropped this nugget and one of them picked it up. And they followed Scotty after he left here. Dale, you and Pat hop in that Jeep and go out and get him and bring him back here so we can keep an eye on him. I'm going to go sign a complaint against Blodgett and company. Pat, lock up. We're on our way, boy. <laughs> I forgot I was overhauling her. Well, this is a fine time to have this rat trap in pieces. Ah, fail me, will you, Nellie Bell, just when I need you. Nellie Bell! Nellie Bell! Whoa, Nellie Bell! You're going to be a guest of the county. Get over there. Get Well, the burrow track cut off. The old coot's cabin's back off the road, or he took a shortcut. What's the difference? We got a trail to follow. Ha, 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 ha. 
I just walked right into it. I put him to sleep in the cell. Nice going, Sam. With him tied off, we can take our time. <coughs> it's the same environment. Well, I'm ready for him this time. runs out of ammunition. What if we run out first? He ain't showing no signs of running out of ammunition yet. Hey, coming down the road. I've seen that dame before. Sure, it's a gal from the lunchroom. The old boy thinks a lot of her. He told her about the gold. Come on, I got an idea. Go. Get down. Come on, you too. Over there. Come on. Move. Hey, Scotty! I got a friend of yours here. Remember what happened to your mule? Well, the same thing will happen to her. Unless we get the gold. No! You're all right. Hold everything. I'll get you the gold. 
Draw out your guns first, and no funny business, or you'll get it too. got away. Lodge it. The sheriff's brother. That's all right. We'll take these two in and I'll see that nobody turns them loose this time. Where's Scotty? Take it easy, old girl. Here, Pat. Keep an eye on these two. We're awfully sorry about Jewel, Scotty. Boy, don't you think Scotty should ride back into town with us now? Yes. You know, Scotty, your gold is bait for every outlaw around here. You stay at the hotel tonight, and Dale and Pat can drive you to the railhead tomorrow morning. Thank you, uh, Roy. But if I could have a, a couple of minutes, you know, it don't seem hardly right to uh, just to ride away without, uh, without, uh... I'll help you. Thank you, lad. Well, old girl, I thought that I'd be planted deep long for you. But we can't always tell about these things, can we? But I'll be coming back this way, the Lord willing. Sorry that you couldn't have that fresh, green, juicy grass that you were looking forward to. Well, goodbye, Jewel. Get some ready, okay? All right, Scotty. Where's Randall? He's in that closet over there. In there, you two. It happened so fast, Rogers, I thought the roof fell on me. I'm glad you got away, but I have a plan to bring him in. I'm sorry, Roy, but I... Forget it, Randall. When will the sheriff be back? He's due in about noon tomorrow. Well, if you see him before I do, tell him I'm bringing his brother in, and he'll enforce the law no matter who gets hurt. Come on, Scotty. Are you all willing to go along with the plan? You can count me in, Roy. Nellie Bell and me will be raring to go. I'd give every ounce of dust I ever dug to put that thieving coyote on the ground. I understand how you feel, Scotty, but we'll just let the law take care of Blodgett and his boys. Well, what do you say we turn in? You've had a pretty rough day. That I have, lad. Evening, Randall. You've got a lot of gall coming in here. Oh, now take it easy, Randall. I came to give myself up. I'll stand a deal with my partners. Here's my gun. Sorry to do this to you again, Randall. You and I just happen to be on opposite sides of the law right now. Get over there. Nice going, Hank. Yeah, we thought you'd never make it. Get in there. Tie him up and jack. Boys just hate to do this to you again, Randall. You can understand our position. Okay, that's 
Francisco. You got here at the right time, Hank. Taking the old man to the railhead this morning with his gold. Well, that's swell. We'll give him a going away party. Uh-huh. It takes Nellie Bell a little while to warm up, but then afterwards she just purrs like a kitten. Yeah, like a wildcat, you mean. That you just take it easy. I'll be riding the ridge above you. When Blodgett shows himself, we'll wrap him up and introduce him to the sheriff. Where'd you get it, fella? You've got something on your mind. Let's see what it is. How long ago did they get away? About four o'clock this morning. Blodgett came in and caught me off guard. I heard them tell Blodgett you were taking Scott into the railhead this morning. That means they'll be waiting. You better come with me. I'll need your help. Well, there's the jeep. Evidently, Blodgett and company didn't attack it. I'm sure glad we caught him before he showed up. Well, let me stay here. <laughs> just out of town. There's a scratch on just one of them. I'm going to part your hair with a 45. Get going. Get out. Scotty, I think you have a wonderful idea here. I think Jewel would like it. I think she would too. Say, how many more you got coming, Scotty? I'm going to buy everyone I can find. Fetch them up here and turn them loose. Maybe someday I might find one like you. Scotty. I suppose so, Dale. I 
maybe uh, you might call it jewel. Yeah.